But first, we are so excited to welcome in our next guest, Rich Bracken. I've heard so many great things about you. Welcome to the show, first and foremost. I appreciate it, and they're all lies. They're, and they're all, all lies. lies. All None of them, of them are true. true. <laughs> well, let's go through this. You have quite sure. the resume. You're an award-winning global keynote speaker, yep. an executive coach, an expert on emotional intelligence, not to mention you've toured across the country as a DJ. Yeah. So many DJs on this show so right now. So many DJs. <laughs> Been on three national TV game shows, emceed the Royals World Series Parade. We could go on and on, but we're burying the lead a little bit because it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Happy sir. birthday. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, thank you for being on our show yeah. on your birthday. We're starting a brand new segment with you, so mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit more about that segment. Yeah, so it's called 1% Better. We're going to be focusing on content that helps everybody get better every single day, cool. and today we're kicking it off on my birthday because I want to bring a present to everybody out there and make sure that they're getting 1% better. So we're going to walk through some different things that they can do in the second half of the year cool. to be better every single day, every single month, and have that best last half of the year. Once again, not about him, about everybody else. Exactly. Exactly. Birthday, right? Right? Not enough about me. <laughs> no, Let's right. get on to the people. We want to take care of everybody else. Yeah. I love that. Well, we're kind of going step by step through each month yeah. in order to do this. So we're starting here with July because we haven't finished that out yeah. yet. Uh, so what are we doing in July? So in July, and I'm going to, I'm yeah. going to try to be gentle here. So there we're going to go. plan some intentional connections and what we need to do here is focus on those people that we want to spend more time with and I'll, I'll try to pull this off gently I didn't work out this morning so I wanted to be careful here but putting time on the calendar with those people that we love that we want to be intentional with sometimes we think well I'll call somebody later on or I'll spend time communicating with them later but if you put it on your calendar you're more likely to do it we all get busy yeah. all the time yeah. So if we make that intentional time on our calendar, we have that dedicated time to connect with those people that we love, that we care about, and frankly, that we just want to connect with. But yeah. does it feel overwhelming if I have too many things on my calendar then? Good and then question. I'm like, hold yeah. on, yeah. Shane, I'm not going to have time for you, right? Point. But when we look at the calendar and you think of all the things that are on your sure. calendar now, if you have that block in there that says connect with Steve, that's going to make me feel good. It's going to make, make me look forward to it. Sure. So that other stuff that's on your calendar is not going to feel so bad when you get to connect with somebody in middle, maybe in the middle of the day, later in the morning. It makes it a little bit lighter in the day as opposed to just having back-to-back -back meetings that sure. you don't really want to go to. For sure, for sure. Okay, well, that's July, and July. that's a great one, being yeah, intentional. Uh, August, what are we looking at here? All right, we got block self-time on your calendar. Again, going back to the calendar, but putting good stuff on the calendar. Yep. In less than five minutes, we can invest in our self-care. Now, a lot of times people will say, oh, I don't, wanna, I don't have time to go to the spa all day long, which sounds great, especially on my birthday. Yeah, sure. But in five minutes or less, you can implement self-care, and that is listening to your favorite song. Meditating or just daydreaming for five minutes helps your mental capacity. Little things that you can do in under five minutes are really essential to making sure that you're maintaining that healthy mindset all day long, every day. And we don't take enough time for ourselves. Self-care is at its lowest that it's ever been. So you need to be intentional about investing in your self-care. All right, next sure. month, let's figure this one out, September. All right, September. Hold the board. Practice versions of no. This is okay. really hard for people yeah. because we are people pleasers. We don't yes. set boundaries. We don't protect our boundaries. But you can practice versions of no. Either no is a complete sentence, sure. or if you get to a point where somebody's coming at you and you, you want to divert what's going on, I call it the choose your own adventure. Somebody brings you a really bad idea, or somebody sure. recommends something to you that you don't want to do. You say, well, we could do that, yeah. or we could do this instead. So it's not saying no, but it's just moving them away from the thing that you don't want to do or that you don't want to invest in. Yeah, sometimes you don't want to make people sad or upset them by saying no. So that's that's a really important one there. You always too. make somebody else say the no. Uh, right? <laughs> you always make somebody <laughs> else do it. Tell them exactly. no for me. Yeah, exactly. All right, we got October. Yeah, pause and check in with yourself. Under, understanding that no matter where you are, no matter what month it is, no matter what's going on, you can always stop and say, okay, where am I at? And where do I need to go? That's with goals, that's with your health, that's with anything that you want to do. We can all set that starting point at any given time. You're not bound by the New Year's resolutions. You can start in whatever month you want to. But Absolutely. when we double down in October, especially going into the end of the year, you can get a jump start on your resolutions before the end of the year gets here. Yeah, so obviously. making sure that you're understanding that position. And it gets a little bit harder towards the end of the year. So <laughs> yeah, you, exactly. get, us on, get us on point here. On November, purge the unnecessary. It is really critical, especially going to the holiday yeah. season. Yeah. Purge the unnecessary. That's your stuff. That's your clothes, but that's also people. That's social media. Go yeah. through your social media feed, especially around holiday time, and making sure that you're getting rid of the things that don't serve you, that don't make you happy. Yeah, oh yeah. Then you and have then to the buy last gifts. Yeah, there we right. go. Exactly. That's our exactly. Getting into gift giving season here, too. December, we're looking at creating a goal map. Yeah, make sure that you create that goal map moving into the next year. It's really important that we understand. We, we talk about all these goals and resolutions that we have, but when we write them down, when we make an intentional plan to achieve those goals, that's when we actually put them into play. That's why resolutions 
fails. Yeah, I was going to say not a resolution. It's a goal. Exactly. A whole and, different game. And when you write them down, put down measurable statistics, put down milestones, put down ways that you can achieve those goals, you're going to make them happen. Ah, well, thank you so much for being here, too, and sharing us all this with us. And happy birthday right. once thank again. Thank you very much. So I appreciate good. it. And we cannot wait till next time. It's going to be right. so good. That's right. Let's do it. Uh, tell people where they can follow you, Rich. They can follow me at richbracken.com, all my social media handles and all the content is on richbracken.com.